All right, hello there. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Kylie Hampton. I'm with Hampton Homes, Keller Williams Key. I run a team out of the Somerville, South Carolina area, and I wanted to introduce you to my very good friend and past client, Kay. She has an incredible business that she runs out of her home, and I've always been really curious about it. She's extremely successful and is one of the best that I know when it comes to time management and getting things done. And so I just wanted to share um, and kind of pull her into an interview because I feel like there are a lot of people that could learn a lot from her. So Kay, tell me what it is that you do, name your business and, uh, uh, you know, about your business. Well, thanks Kylie for having me on. And yes, Kylie is the best realtor that in just in the whole United States, in the whole world. And I'm just lucky to have her as a friend. And I really appreciate this opportunity to talk about my business today. So like Holly said, I'm Kay and my husband is JR and we own a company uh, called Thrift Wears Clothing. That's right, <laughs> Thrift Wears Clothing. And basically we are professional resellers. And a lot of people say, well, what's a professional reseller? And basically we take <laughs> all of Kylie's use clothes and shoes and we sell them on marketplaces like ebay um poshmark macari and um and and that's pretty much what we do that's what a professional reseller is we we sell people's secondhand items awesome which is really great when you're getting ready to move out of a home and you don't you've got a lot of stuff you need to get rid of so this is a nice solution for our clients that have things they need to get get rid of that just maybe they bought doesn't fit them anymore or it wasn't really their style to begin with it was a great a great idea at the time <laughs> yeah, <most Purchase>. definitely. <clears throat> i know i have those sometimes um so how long have you been running this business so basically we the idea was presented in about in 2016. so we started in 2017 um, just, uh, it was a funny story ha happened. I was working, uh, in corporate America at that time. And I had a coworker and we were just having lunch and we were talking about what we were going to do this weekend. And she said, uh, yeah, I'm going to sell my kids clothes on swap.com. And I was like, swap.com, what is swap.com? And, and she said, well, it's a site you can resell your kids clothes on. And so I just kind of was like, oh, okay, you know, and brushed it off, didn't think anything about it. And so a few days later, I said to my husband, I was like, well, I wonder, could I sell grown people's clothes online? And uh, and he was like, that sounds interesting. And of course, I thought I was going to become the next Jeff Bezos. And I had just <laughs> came up with the next Google idea. And uh, and we're going to be rich. And this, this is it. This is the big one. <laughs> But when I actually started to research, I found out that reselling, or as some people know it as thrifting, is like a whole world. It's like a whole community. And so I just started out like most people going to garage sales and selling items on eBay. And then it just kind of took off from there. And then in 2018, I decided to go full time. So that's really exciting. So, yeah. um, I, and so what did you do before that? What was the career that you left behind? So my, my previous career has always either been in commercial property management or residential property management or banking. And so at that particular time, I, I was really unhappy in my job and I really wanted something that was exciting and that made me want to get up every day and so there was a lot of prayer that went into that <laughs> and uh and so this was it and so i absolutely love what i do absolutely I, and so and that's why i wanted to share a little bit about her and introduce her to you because you know it's inspiring to me people who also wake up loving what they do every day and i so love what I get to do every day and I still have to pinch myself sometimes that I get to do what I love because it's not a luxury everybody gets no, to live. No, it's not. <laughs> um, so, and then, so what types of services do you offer? Okay, well, as you mentioned, especially you meet a lot of clients that's moving. So one of the services, one of the many services that we offer um, is we do offer front door pickup. So if you decide to clean out your closet, um, we will 
pick up those items from your front door. You've so, done that for me. <laughs> <laughs> so we can do that. So there's a couple of ways we can do it. We do offer consignment because there's just some things that you're like, hey, I paid a pretty penny for that. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to give that to Goodwill. I just don't want to give that away. And so that's fine. Uh, so we can consign that item. So yeah. we'll take your item. We do the photographing, the listing. We'll put it on eBay and Poshmark and different platforms to try to to generate a, a sale for you. Um, also, a lot of people just clean out their closet and they want to support a small business, so they just give us the clothes. Mm -hmm. um, and if that's an option as well, we will pick them up from you as well. So those are basically the um, two services, consignment, donations. We offer front door um, pickup as well. And if you do need totes, mm -hmm. if you don't have totes, um, we can drop off up to 10 totes on your front porch. You fill them up and then we'll schedule the pickup for you. I feel like that sounds like a really great solution <laughs> yeah. for a lot of people. It's also, what do I put it in? Yeah. Do I, do I know, put it in trash bags? Right. But we take that too. So if you do decide to take <laughs> do it in the trash bags, but if you would like the totes, we, will, we can drop those off for you. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So and it's more than just clothes and shoes purses yes and, so clothes well, right? shoes uh handbags okay. um laptop bags okay. those kind of things um we do men women and children's clothes as okay. well yeah really good yeah All right, awesome. <laughs> so you know what are the benefits of shopping pre-owned why would someone want to shop pre-owned versus brand new Okay, so this is what makes me love what I do right here. <laughs> so let's say you're a career person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a lot of people don't look at, you know, they like pre-owned somebody else's clothes. But let me tell you, there's real value there. Take, for instance, you being professional mm -hmm. and you go to Ann Taylor mm -hmm. and you're like, I need a new pencil skirt and mm -hmm. blazer. Yep. Okay, so we're talking 189 for the blazer. <laughs> At Ann Taylor. We're talking Thank you, just Ann, <laughs> We're just talking Ann Taylor, right? right? Uh, so 189 for the blazer. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we've got to have the skirt, right? Yep. To match. Right. So we're looking at maybe 90. Yeah. Okay. So let's just let's just do an average that by the time we buy the blazer, the blouse, and the skirt, we could easily be at a couple of hundred dollars. Easily. Well, with pre-owned clothing, whether you buy from us or just any of it, you're looking at, you can buy an Ann Taylor skirt for under $20 online and a blazer for $40 or $50. So you're talking about over more than 60% in savings. So I just think that shopping secondhand is a great money saver, mm -hmm. especially with current inflation right, that's grocery, <laughs> with the grocery prices. So people might need to reconsider going and buying brand new. If that's, exactly. If I'm talking to myself. Yes. <laughs> you know, because yes. it's easy to want to go and, you know, so it, try things on. So if someone wants to, you know, order something and it doesn't fit, can they return it back to you? Most, well, most of our, how we sell our items on eBay and Poshmark, we do offer returns. Okay. We offer our, our customers 30 days return. Okay. Um, so you, when, if you do decide to shop, um, online on one of the platforms, that is one of the things, you, questions that you do want to ask. You want to make sure that you want to ask that seller that if I buy this from you, can I return it? Because mm -hmm. that is the that is the scary part. But let me give you a suggestion for that. If you have items, your favorite items mm -hmm. in your closet, mm -hmm. kind of stick with that same brand. Um, like if you're like, you love Levi's jeans, mm -hmm. you know, it would be good to just stick with Levi's. So when you're looking online, you know, fit. You know they'll fit. You know mm -hmm. how they're going to fit. Um, and so that's a good way to lessen the risk. Sure. Um, that And that's what I tell my husband all the time. He's He loves shoes. He's, he's very fancy <laughs> with his shoes. But I tell him to stick with the brands that he knows really works for him. Right. And so that's a good way to mitigate the... I feel like that's how we've made... Um, things work with Audrey uh, is buying shoes because they're different 
I mean, especially the infant and toddler shoes, let me tell you, that is hard to do online in the COVID world. That was a struggle. <laughs> I was like, you just order a bunch, be like, what? That's not like a normal size. Exactly. Uh, four. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And you're, you're looking at the measuring charts and it's not like, you're like, well, that should fit. And then you get them and they don't. And you're yes. like, it's really frustrating. So, um, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And we, that, that's worked for us. So, we, you know, you figure out what brands you like, what works, what size, and then you know what size to go up when, yeah. when they, when they grow out. Most definitely. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, can you walk me through a day in the life? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, basically, uh, for me, so do you want me to be super detailed? Like what time I get up? No, just, you know, what, what are the first things that you do in your day? How do like, what is an, like a, a typical day? Like? Okay. So a typical day in, in this business basically is the first thing is you look at your orders for today. So you look at, because we sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Etsy, um, and some other sites. So you, the first thing I do is print out all the orders from the night before because okay. most of people shopping is 24 hours. So, yeah. um, so the first thing I do is print the orders, um, and the shipping labels. So I do shipping the first part of my day and get that out of the way. Uh, the next for me is usually I have at least two to 300 items waiting to be processed and process for me means taking steam it we steam a lot of the items okay. some of the items need to be washed okay. <laughs> some <laughs> items need to be washed mm -hmm. and uh, we steam uh, all all the clothes uh, inspect so you have to go through that process and then photographing okay so we spend probably a good three to four hours of photographing stuff throughout the day um, the other part of the day is answering customer service questions. We okay. get a lot of questions. Well, you get questions like your listing says blue, but that looks purple on my computer or, oh, okay. you I know, think about that. Yes. All these questions. People want to know what the leg opening is on skinny jeans. Cause they okay. want to make sure that they're Are there calves super, gonna fit? <laughs> are they super skinny? You know, now if the funny thing about this is that men don't ask a lot of questions. <laughs> These are all women's oh questions. Yeah. So, so you have a lot of customer service questions. So you're answering that throughout the day. And, um, and basically the last part of my day is putting new items online. So, that's basically what my day consists of. Shipping, photographing, inspecting clothes, customer service, and listing. Okay. So, and that's usually, that can be a 12, 15 hour day. Oh gosh, <laughs> all right. And so, um, how can people get in contact with you? So if they'd like to um, set up something for consignment or they just want to donate things to you because they, they just need the space. They just need the space. We love, we love that. Um, so basically we're on our address is Linktree slash Three Fours Clothing. I'm quite sure you can put that in the link below. Yes. And so, sure yeah. And so you just, you can reach out to us there. You can definitely give me a call, email me, and we usually respond within 24 hours. Um, I did also want to make this point about what, about shopping secondhand too. I just want to give you some encouragement and some um some stats that not only this business is important to me because uh of the the monetary value of it but it also has it plays a big part in s recycling and saving our earth so i just want to make mm -hmm. uh, a couple of points shopping second hand helps others so when you do shop second hand a lot of uh a lot of these uh resellers mm -hmm. uh, are doing good in the community. So that's one one good thing about it. The other is the average person throws away 100 pounds of clothing and only 15 per, in a year. In a year? In a year. Oh and only 15% of that is reused or recycled and 95% of it ends up in mm -hmm. landfills. Oh. So, yeah. So when you think about getting rid of those clothes it's right. if if you can put it in the recycling system that would be the best thing for the environment and my last point is buying secondhand can extend the life of a clothing item 
by nine months mm. and that reduces the waste footprint by 20 to 30 percent okay so when you sell or buy secondhand you just now extended that item's life by nine to 12 months wow yeah and that's i'm very green so i i, I like hate it. i I can't stand to like print something unless I absolutely have to. I don't like writing things down on paper. Everything is electronic, um, you know, because I'm doing what I can to reduce my footprint yeah. and for, you know, generations to come because I know that a lot of, you know, a lot of us want to do more. And so this is a way that you can help do more for future generations. So that's, I really like that. Thank you for sharing that. That's great. Yeah. So. It's so crazy how we're friends because you're definitely an electronic person and I'm, I'm still paper. Yeah. But, 100%. Um, but we all have our things. Yeah. So yes. All right. Well, if there's any way that, or any other questions do you have for Kay, let us know. I'm sure she'll be happy to get back and answer. I think that her business model is just so incredible she's invited me into her home of course and i've seen i've seen the whole operation so this is all done from her home in her garage and you have one one large storage unit i have two 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 because okay. we have you've grown yes we've grown <laughs> so we can we have about five thousand items for you to shop from in our ebay and poshmark store that's incredible yeah wow it's a lot of work well, sounds good. If you'd like to get in touch or you've got a donation or you want to, you know, organize some, some consignment, definitely reach out to Kay. We'll make sure that the link is um, attached to this. If this is on YouTube, it'll be below and um, in, in a post elsewhere. So if you've got any questions, let us know. And I'm just really glad that you gave me the opportunity to interview you. I know yeah. that um, you're a very busy woman. 